All right, so you might have heard recently that Netflix pulled down an episode of Hassan Minaj's new show, Patriot Act, because one of the segments was critical of the leader of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. We're seeing examples around the world of pieces of entertainment that come out that make certain groups very, very angry. For instance, in Lebanon, Wonder Woman was pulled because Gal Gadot is the star. She's Israeli and was part of the Israeli Defense Force for a while, leading to severe backlash. We've also seen the rise of China as a major force in international entertainment. There's a lot of money there, and there's a lot of people who are banking on appealing to Chinese people for a big part of their income. But appealing to Chinese people in the Chinese box office means also getting along with the Chinese government, which means abiding by certain censorship laws and cultural norms. We're seeing similar problems in places like India, where there's a lot of people who are starting to enter the middle class, starting to subscribe to streaming services, but it's also a country that has had a long history of censoring movies for certain types of content. Even companies like Disney and classic stories like Beauty and the Beast are starting to run into this problem. In Malaysia, the film was held from screening because it contained what censors called a gay moment. The movie did eventually hit screens, but with a PG-13 rating. Disney's launching an international streaming service this coming year. So is Warner Media from AT&T, which includes HBO's Game of Thrones, which I'm sure is going to run afoul of plenty of censorship issues. So just like Netflix, these companies are trying to appeal to an international audience. They need those subscribers, and they need to get along with the local governments. At the same time, there's going to be a lot of people watching, see how much censorship are these companies willing to tolerate and willing to put into the stuff that they're making. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.